Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Tony's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make pizza. First thing you have to do is you got to go to any bakery, mix them for pizza dough. It comes in a bag. It's a one-pound bag. Very simple. And then you got to go get yourself some trays. Let me show you the tray. It's a 14-inch tray. Pizza tray. It's got holes in it. Of course, you maybe two dollars in the store. It's pretty cheap. So what we do is we use all-purpose flour. We we'll sprinkle a little bit in the bag, like that. This way, it doesn't stick to your hands. Put your hand in there. Open up the bag, like that. Place it down. And get rid of this. Put a little flour on the top. flour on the counter to turn over the dough. Get flour all over. And now you want to work your way in the middle of the dough. And work out. In the middle, you work out. If you let the dough stay out about a half hour before you're going to make it, before you're going to spread the dough, it'll make it a lot easier to spread the dough. You could use a rolling pin, it's up to you. But don't forget, the oven's preheated at 450 degrees. Turn it over, do the same thing. From the middle, you're working out. Try to keep a round circle. If not, not a big deal. You can always straighten that out. So now we pick up the dough. And I'll turn around this way, this way you can see what I'm doing. I have my thumbs underneath. And you're spreading out the dough. You don't want to do too much because you don't want to make holes. You just keep on turning and turning. So not only is this pizza cheaper, but it's a lot of fun because you could have the whole family do it. The kids will enjoy to do this. Kids will love to make a mess as well. But it's a healthy pizza, it's cheaper. Does it taste like the pizzerias? Not really. But it's good enough. It's fun. And then, once you get the dough where you want it to be, you can get a little fancy and twirl it up. I don't know if you can see that. But I like my pizza thin. I don't know about you. You don't want it as thin. Then don't spread out the dough as much. Oh. Mine looks good right now. So what I do is on one side, I add a little oil on this side. Spread out the oil. And the reason for that, uh, this way, the bottom is crunchy. I like crunchy pizza on the bottom. If you don't like it, don't put the oil. Take the dough. Put it right on top of the screen. Overlap the screen because the dough on the end is going to be too thick. So I like a thin pizza. And then we're going to use pizza cutter, right? Just follow the screen. And we're going to take off the excess no, you can make breadsticks, breadsticks with this. You can do whatever you want. That's what I do with mine. I throw it out. Okay, so here we have the dough on the screen. Nice and round, simple. If you watch my video the other day, I made a nice fresh sauce. Fresh tomatoes, plum tomatoes with fresh garlic and fresh basil. So you could use this sauce 
on the pizza that we're making today. So, I put the sauce on here. And now spread out the sauce and leave about a half inch around the rim. Don't go all the way to the end. You want to leave a half inch. Do the outsides first. Depending on if you like a lot of sauce. I like a lot of sauce. around the rim and now you could add more sauce in the middle so since we're using a home oven which it doesn't reach the temperature as a pizzeria oven we're going to have to pre-cook this for about 20 minutes in, our, in the oven. Leave the screen in the middle. Don't drop the screen. Don't make it where you're going to cook it on the bottom. Just leave it in the middle of the oven. And pre-cook this for about 20 minutes. I'm going to put this in the oven. And after 20 minutes, it's going to look like this. It's pre-cooked, about 20 minutes in the oven. The next thing we're going to do, simple. I have a little grated cheese, sprinkle a little grated cheese on the top. I use mozzarella. I use the skim mozzarella because it's a little better for you. And just follow the rim of the sauce. Not too much and not too little. Don't be stingy. first and then add the mozzarella in the middle now you can put a little salt on here I don't I don't use salt I try to keep away from the salt what I like to do is I like to use fresh basil so I take a piece of the fresh basil, smash it up, sprinkle it around. You could add a little, you could add a lot. It all depends on what you want to do. I like a lot of basil. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, uh, at one time I made a video of how to make meatballs. If you haven't seen it, take a look. It's called... Uh, Tony's Kitchen making Sunday meatballs. Okay, so this is it. This is the way the pie looks. Looks pretty good to me. That goes in the oven for about another 20 minutes. Uh, my pizza is done. Take a look. After 20 minutes, that looks good to me. You could only smell it from here. Forget it. Okay. So what do you do? So I have my pizza tray here. Just take it, slide it, nice and easy. This is how you cut the pizza. Pizza cutter, you start from one end, and you work your way all the way through. Again. From here, all the way through, and again, all the way through, and again. And that's the way we make homemade pizza. simple. Have a slice. Kids are going to have fun. You're going to have fun. It doesn't take much time. Put a glass of wine. Salud.
Good luck to you. Enjoy. Good health. That's good wine. Watch my uh, next video. I'm going to be making lasagna. The best homemade lasagna that you ever had. We got a thing going on. Every day at the same cafe.